Hi, this is Deborah at Dinglefoot Scrapbooking, and this week I'm going to be showing you how to make a box pleat. And this is a really awesome border for cards or scrapbook pages. So, of course, for a scrapbook page, since it's so long, you're going to probably have to add more pieces of paper on it, unless you just want it in a certain area of your page. But I'm going to be making a card with mine, and my card is only four and a half inches wide or four and a quarter inches wide. So I only needed a piece of paper that was nine inches long for that. So I have that. This paper is actually one and a half inches by nine inches. And then I also have some ribbons that I'm going to be putting on my card and a tag and a little tiny doily. So for our piece of paper that we're going to be making the box pleats, you're going to need to score it starting at one inch and you're going to score it right on the inch and on the quarter inch so one and a quarter inches so two scores there and a score at two inches and two and a quarter inches and the whole way along your paper keep going and your last one is going to be at eight inches and eight and one quarter inches so I already went ahead and scored my paper and the folds for this is just a little bit tricky at first. I know I had to try it several times to get it right. And I kind of, first before I started, I just went along all my score marks and just folded them first just to make sure I was getting right on the score marks. And now I'm going to go back and fold them into my box pleats. So the first one, you're going to fold it up. So I think in other... Uh, kinds of paper folding they call that a mountain fold and then the second one is going to be a valley fold and then we're going to do it opposite we're going to do a valley fold and a mountain fold so it should look like this with that little shape there so we're going to keep doing it opposite ways so then we have a mountain fold again and a valley fold and a valley fold and a mountain fold and you'll start to see that it's looking like box pleats. So I'm going to continue along a mountain fold and a valley fold. So I kind of pre-folded this so it would be easier to go along and do it. And then we have a valley fold and a mountain fold. Mountain and valley and valley and mountain. And that's to the end of our paper. So this will be a little bit wider than what I need for my card. But what I'm going to do when I put it on is just leave a little bit hanging over the edges and just arrange it the way I want and then just clip it off. But my first part I'm going to put on this card is my little doily. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be putting glue on the back of this. I'm just using a permanent glue stick here. But I'm going to be leaving part of my doily hanging off the edge of my card but I'm going to align it with the top. So, I think I'll leave about that much hanging over the edge. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to trim that right off. Okay, so you see, we have a part of a doily on the front of our card. And then, I'm going to take my box pleats. And if you want to, sometimes it's a good thing just to go in these little pieces. And just use a glue stick or something to stick a little bit of glue in there. And just glue them in place. And then that'll make sure that they're not going to be going anywhere while we're trying to get it attached to our card. So I'm just going to go ahead and just go along all of those. So if you've done a lot of sewing in the past, you're probably familiar with box pleats. Sometimes it's kind of fun to mix and match your crafts. I'm going to get these glued down. And I'm going to take a break for a little minute and just kind of hold these in place to try to get them to stay so they're not moving anywhere on me. Okay, I kind of got my box pleats glued in place a little bit so they won't be moving around. Now I'm going to take some score tape. I'm just going to put a stripe right across the card, a little bit over the doily. Let's see if I have that straight there. Okay. Then I'm going to tear off the backing on the tape. 
and I'm just gonna place the pleats right along the edge of the card there so I have a little bit of a space at the bottom and then I have a little overhang on each edge so I'm just gonna trim those off And let's see here. I'm probably going to need to put a little bit of glue on this edge here because that one's just kind of hanging off the card. Probably should have planned that just a little bit better, but since we're making this in a hurry, we'll just make it work for us. So, next I'm going to be putting lace over the top. And this is kind of a nice little touch, so we're covering up the raw edge of our paper there. And I'm just going to grab a little bit of glue here. I'm just going to use hot glue. Just put it right along the edge of my ribbon. And just going to go right along that raw edge. So we have a really nice finish on our paper. And again, I'm just going to trim off the extra of the lace. And then all I need to do is attach my bow and my tag. So I'm just using hot glue for almost all of this. Just a nice, quick, easy way to finish off a project. I'm going to put my tag on. A little more hot glue. I'm just going to stick that right about there. And this card is finished. Thanks so much for watching.